I'm Serge Kilembi. Welcome and thanks for joining me on this Trading Wall Street TV US Market Weekly Report. We're only gonna focus on weekly charts and use technical analysis, supports and resistance, critical levels and price action, trend lines, channels, simple moving averages. We're gonna look for opportunities on indices, US companies and US dollar index. The Dow Jones. First, let's begin with the monthly charts. Break above 17,700 points of resistance, and we are heading towards 80,000 points with 80,150 as higher resistance. On the weekly chart, bullish week, right below the 18,000 points, a very, very critical level. The stochastic is still in overbought region. We start to see a slight divergence with the percentage K and D. We'll wait for confirmation. The Nasdaq 100. On the monthly chart, we are bullish and on the right path to fill the bearish gap. The target is 4600 points with 4700 points of max resistance. It seems like we are running out of steam on the bullish side due to the volume. On the weekly chart, we are in a kind of range movement with a bullish inside week candle. Still above the 4 weeks MA and the stochastic is in overbought region with a strong divergence between the percentage K and D. So that indicates that maybe we might see higher prices and volatility and gap filling at 4600 points. The S&P 500. First on the monthly sectors map, it's mostly green in every sector. Now let's have a look on the monthly chart. Bullish, target 2100 points. Now, on the weekly side, first on the sectors map, bullish week except for consumer goods and technology, most specifically telecommunication services and semiconductor broadline. On the weekly chart, we are slightly above the range movement and on our way to the 2100 point. Still above the 4 weeks moving average, above channels resistance and the stochastic is still in overbought region with a sign of divergence between the percentage K and D. The US dollar index. On the monthly chart, we are at 94 support level with a doji candle right on the 21 month MA. A break below that level and we will be out of the range sideways movement with 90 as a target. On the weekly chart, we are in a sideways movement and still below the 4 weeks MA. The stochastic is an oversold region with a cross between the percentage K and D, but we need to wait for a confirmation and a better signal on which direction to take. The sentiment remains bearish. Now, let's have a quick look on commodities on weekly charts. First, WTI. Tweeze the top formation at $40 a barrel. Resistance level and sideways movement for 5 weeks. If we break below the 4 weeks moving average and next below the $36 a barrel, we'll be moving lower towards channel support level. Watch out for stochastic signals. Brent Oil. Same scenario, we're just below the $45 a barrel resistance and very close to the channel's resistance. If we close below the 4 and 8 weeks moving averages at $40 a barrel, then there is a great probability of going back to the support of $25 a barrel and much lower if we respect the ABCD bearish pattern. Gold. Sideways movement at downtrend channels resistance. If we break above resistance, the target is 1300. Below 1200, we'll go back to the support around 1000. The stochastic is heading lower with a sell signal and a convergence between the percentage K and D. Now, let's analyze Adobe Systems Incorporated stock. On the monthly chart, we are bullish and moving towards the $100 level. On the weekly chart, we are above the 4 weeks moving average. Double top at $95, above $96, we'll target $100. And below $90, look for bearish positions and stochastic signals at overbought region with convergence of the percentage K and D. And we notice a squeeze in volume, so we see a sideways movement. On the daily chart, 
we are in a range between 95 resistance and 92 support. And we see a bullish gap between $90 and $92. So if we go below $92, that gap must be filled. But when looking at stochastic, we remain bullish. So we could see higher prices. First target $96 and then $100. And ultimately, the economic calendar for this trading week. Monday, Fed speech and NAHB Housing Market Index of April. Tuesday, Housing and Building Reports. Wednesday, Existing Home Sales of March. Thursday, ECB Interest Rate Decision. Very, very important for those who trade Euro Dollar. And Friday, Canadian Inflation Rate for March. Great impact on US CAD. That's it for today. Hope it helps. Trade smart, make money, take profits. Bye and see you next time.